Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Now it would not be Christmas without spending the day in the kitchen baking cookies. So that's what I'm going to do today. I'm so excited to share with you all of my favorite Christmas cookies. So it's going to be a long day, maybe two. So let's get started. Now, for those of you who may be new to my channel, I am Chef Christy and I share delicious recipes each and every week. So make sure that you subscribe and hit the notification bell. Then you will know as soon as I upload a new video. And also, give me a big thumbs up and let me know that you like my videos. Cookie number one is for a spice cookie. Oh, I love this cookie. It's always a hit. Let me show you how to make it. Okay, the first thing that you need is three sticks of butter that has been at room temperature. And then two cups of white sugar. And with my paddle attachment, I'm going to mix this until it's nice and creamy. Then I'm going to add two eggs, adding them one at a time. Then I'm going to add a half a cup of molasses. And then blending that up. Okay, to a large bowl, I'm going to add four cups of flour, four teaspoons of baking soda, two teaspoons of cinnamon, one teaspoon of ground ginger, and one teaspoon of ground clove, and one teaspoon of salt. And then I'm just going to take a fork and I'm just going to mix my flour and all my seasonings. And now I'm going to begin to add the flour in thirds. All right, the last little bit of dough. And this is a very thick dough. Okay, so now I'm going to take this dough and I'm going to place it into a bowl. And then I'm going to put this, cover this and put this in my refrigerator. Uh, you can do this for several hours or, or overnight. Okay, so now I'm going to take my small little cookie scoop and uh, make balls with the spice cookie and roll them in sugar. And then place them on a cookie sheet. And now I'm going to bake these in a 375 degree oven for six to eight minutes. Okay, cookie number two is for a soft sugar cookie. Now, do you know those loft house sugar cookies that you can buy in the store? Well, this is what I'm talking about. A soft, cakey, delicious sugar cookie. Let me show you how to make it. Okay, to my mixing bowl, I have a half a stick of butter, and then I'm going to add a fourth of a cup of shortening. And then one cup of sugar, and I'm going to cream this together. Then I'm going to add two eggs. All right, adding them one at a time. Then I'm going to add one teaspoon of vanilla extract and three-fourths cup of sour cream. Okay, to a separate bowl, I'm going to add three cups of flour, a half of a teaspoon of baking powder. I meant baking soda. Now a half a teaspoon of baking powder, and then a half of a teaspoon of salt. Again, I'm gonna take my fork and just mix the 
flour together. I'm going to add the flour about a half at a time. All right, I'm gonna add the rest. And again, taking this dough and putting it into a bowl, and then I'm gonna cover this and put this in the refrigerator for several hours or overnight. Okay, I'm doing something just a little bit different with this sugar cookie dough. I'm just using my cookie scoop, and then I'm going to roll and make balls, and then I'm going to place it on a cookie sheet that is lined with parchment paper. And then I'm going to take a glass, and I'm just going to use some nonstick spray on the bottom, and then I'm going to just press this cookie down. So it's a flat disc. And if you want to take this dough and roll it out and use your Christmas cookie cutters, then have fun. But I want mine to look like the ones that you see in the store with the icing on top. So that is why I'm doing it this way. And it just is a little bit easier. And so now I want to bake these cookies in a 350 degree oven for around 13 to 14 minutes. Okay, to decorate these sugar cookies, it could not be any easier. I just have some cookie icing that I got at Aldi and some sprinkles, so I'm gonna have fun. And for cookie number three, we have a classic oatmeal raisin cookie. Okay, to my mixing bowl, I have two sticks of room temperature butter. I'm going to add one cup of packed brown sugar and a fourth of a cup of white sugar. Then I'm just going to cream these together. And we have two eggs, adding them one at a time. Okay, so now I'm going to add my vanilla extract and one tablespoon of molasses. Okay, to a separate bowl, I'm going to add one and a half cups of flour, one teaspoon of baking soda, half a teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of ground cinnamon, and three cups of old-fashioned oats. Then again, I'm just gonna mix my dry ingredients together. And then I'm going to add my dry ingredients about a half at a time to my wet ingredients. And then lastly, I'm going to add one cup of raisins. Okay, so I'm placing my dough into a bowl. Uh, you can make these cookies immediately after making the dough, but I'm kind of making a bunch of dough ahead. If you put your cookie dough in the refrigerator, then you want to make sure you let your cookie dough sit out for 30 minutes before you bake it. Now it's time for the oatmeal raisin. And then I'm just going to press these cookies down, making little circles. And now I'm going to bake them in a 350 degree oven for 10 minutes. Okay, so for cookie number four, we have a delicious peanut butter cookie. Okay, so to a mixing bowl, I have two sticks of butter at room temperature. Then I'm gonna add a cup of white sugar and a cup of brown sugar. Then I'm just gonna blend this together. And I have two eggs. 
I'm going to add the eggs one at a time. I'm going to add one teaspoon of milk and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Then I'm going to add one teaspoon of baking soda and a half a teaspoon of salt. Then I'm going to add one cup of peanut butter, two cups of flour. Okay, I'm just going to use my cookie scoop, drop this in a bowl of sugar, roll it around, and then place it on my cookie sheet that's lined with parchment paper. Then I'm just going to take my fork and make the crisscross pattern on top. Then I'm going to bake this in a 350 degree oven for 10 minutes. Are you tired? You've worked so hard today. Good job. Okay, so cookie number five is my husband's very favorite and it is for what we call a snowball cookie, but it's also known as a Mexican wedding cookie or a Russian tea cookie. So delicious. Okay, to a mixing bowl, I have one stick of butter at room temperature and a fourth of a cup of powdered sugar. And I'm going to blend this up. Then I'm going to add a teaspoon of vanilla extract and a fourth of a teaspoon of salt. Then I'm going to be adding one and a fourth cup of flour. Okay, in another bowl, I'm going to take a half a cup of pecans and I'm just going to chop them up until they're finely chopped. Okay, once your pecans are chopped finely, then you're going to add them to this dough. And this dough is a stiff dough and you just want to kind of fold it in with your hands, kind of pressing it. You just want to work it until it all comes together. Okay, so that is what you should have is a solid dough. And now I'm going to cover this and put this in the refrigerator for at least 30 minutes to let it chill. All right, just gonna roll these into balls and place them onto a cookie sheet. Now I'm going to place this in a 400 degree oven for eight to 10 minutes. Okay, as soon as your cookies come out of the oven, you want to roll them in powdered sugar. Okay, look at these beautiful cookies. It has been a long, full day of bacon in the kitchen, but it's been so much fun. And I really hope that you enjoyed just seeing all of my favorite cookies. And, and leave me a comment below and let me know what are some of your favorite cookies. I'd be interested to know. So thank you so much for watching. Have a Merry Christmas. And I will see you soon with more recipes.